What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos. So tonight I wanted to talk a little bit about um, how to choose a Linux distribution. So I get asked all the time, you know, what my opinion is on a specific distribution. Oftentimes I'm contacted, hey, Lou, is distribution A better than distribution B? Or something to the effect that, hey, I'm a new Linux user, which Linux distribution would you recommend? Now this is a really um, difficult question to answer without knowing your specific um, Linux or computer needs, really. Um, so I'll give you a real life example. Right now, I had to change distributions and it's because of my situation. So let me tell you a little bit about what I have going on and why I chose the distribution that I chose. So right now I'm in content creation mode. What that means is if you've watched my latest update, I want to try to produce the most content I possibly can for you and get that uploaded to YouTube so that I can help you in the best way that I possibly can. Now with that said, what I need from a distribution right now is something that's going to get out of my way. And by that I mean something that's going to allow me to uh, create content, edit content, not have me chasing down a lot of bugs, not have me you know, trying to fix a lot of issues, but something that's going to give me, for the most part, an out-of-the-box experience that's going to allow me to focus on getting work done. So I decided to go back to using Elementary OS Luna. So the reason for, for this switch is Elementary OS Luna is based on Ubuntu 12.04. Now Ubuntu 12.04 is a long-term support release. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar as to what that is, LTS releases are supported, I believe now for, I want to say three years. So Ubuntu 12.04 will be supported until 14.04 is released in April. And uh, LTS releases are known for being a fairly fixed experience. And by that I mean, you're not going to get any new technologies released in LTS releases. You're mainly going to get bug fixes and maintenance uh, updates and that's it. And that's what I want. I don't want any bleeding ed edge packages. I want to know that my system is going to be able to be rock solid and stable so I can create content. The other reason why I like elementary is uh, because it's based on uh, Ubuntu. I can use PPAs. PPAs are, are known as personal package archives. Basically if you're on an Ubuntu system, this is a Think of it like a repository of software where many times the developer of the software will host it so you can actually get um, bleeding edge up-to-date versions of the software. Now don't, let, don't be confused by bleeding edge, edge software versus bleeding edge distro. So by that uh, bleeding edge software I mean I want sometimes the most up-to-date version of say OpenShot which is what I use to edit a lot of my videos. Um, but I don't necessarily want the most up-to-date libraries and back-end stuff for my whole system. I just want the most up-to-date version of that particular piece of software. So that allows me to basically pull down the latest version of that software without having to run the latest version of everything on the system itself. So again, it keeps that stability intact. Now, <clears throat> Why I didn't go with other distros such as say like Manjaro or I've even uh, tried Fedora 20 recently. Um, Manjaro for me in my hardware configuration has historically had horrible pulse audio issues. So I'll just lose audio and then I have to troubleshoot figure out what's going on and most of the time it's just a buggy pulse audio package. I can fix 99% of these problems. I just don't want to have to. I'm in the mode right now where I just need a stable environment. I want to create content and get work done. I don't want to have to be chasing down audio issues. So that's why I didn't choose a rolling release distribution, something like Manjaro or Arch Linux. Now Fedora even, because they're using a more bleeding edge version of Pulse, <clears throat> Fedora 20 doesn't agree with my system very much either. So again, this is all the reasons that led me to choose Elementary OS Luna. And I also like the desktop environment which is uh, Pantheon. So what I would encourage you to do, if you're unsure as to what Linux distribution you should be running, if you're especially new to Linux, go to distrowatch.com. I'll include a link in the video description below. Distrowatch shows you a lot of very popular distributions. Um, oftentimes the way they uh, number these distributions is not necessarily uh, how popular they realistically are. It's basically almost th think of it this way they put them in the order of p how people are searching for them like the top searched distros um, 
but it's a good resource so you can see a lot of the distributions that are out there. It'll give you a brief, brief description of what they are and it'll even link you to their website. So write down your top say three, four, or five computing needs. Make sure that these are things that you know you cannot waver on. You absolutely need these three or four or five different things. And then visit the, the website of these different distros. Go to YouTube, see if there's any reviews uh, on that particular distro. And then you can make the decision that way. Oftentimes I think people get a bad opinion of Linux because they install some random distribution and it doesn't meet their needs. There's so many different types of Linux distros out there and they all have different purposes. So, you know, there's, you know, distros out there that are based on forensics or uh, penetration testing or there's all sorts of crazy things. And there's even a GParted distribution. So, you know, if you happen to pick a distro that is geared towards something in the complete opposite direction of what you need, it's not really the distro's fault. So you got to do a little bit of homework with Linux, but I would encourage you to write down the top three, four things that you're looking for in your desktop experience. And then 99% of the time, don't get caught up as to whether a distro uses a specific desktop environment, because regardless of what it is, you can install almost any dis desktop environment on top of that distribution um, from the repositories. So find a distro whose core purpose and mission matches most closely with what you are trying to accomplish on your desktop. So that's the advice I have for you. Hopefully this video was helpful. If so, uh, leave a comment in the video description below as to what distro you use and maybe one, two, or three reasons why you use that. So if another person's coming to this video and they're trying to make a decision, maybe you can list a few reasons why you're using that distro and it could help them out. So hopefully this video was helpful, guys. If so, feel free to give it a thumbs up. That helps me. All of my social media contacts, contacts are at the bottom of this video. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.